Hello everyone, Action Figure Expert here, bringing to you my review on the DC Universe Classics, Metallo. Metallo is a build-a-figure slash collect-to-connect figure, as Mattel decided to call their build-a-figures, collect-to-connect. Um, and he's made of five parts, two legs, two arms, and the body. Uh, the parts that, or the uh, other characters that came in this wave were Eradicator, the Atom, Amazo, Riddler, and Black Lightning. Um, I'll do a review on them later, but, uh, this review is mainly just on Metallo himself. Metallo's got 24 parts, 24 points of articulation, um... And it's pretty well detailed. When it comes to Mattel, or should I say the Four Horsemen, the Four Horsemen are the guys that sculpt the uh, DC Universe figures. Um, when it comes to Metallo, and most of the other Builder figures, they really put a lot of detail into them. As you can see, Metallo's got uh, some really nice detail there. You can see the gears, mechanisms on his arms. If you uh, look like around right there, it's got these nice pipes or cables, whatever they may be, on his lower body there, as well as um, up on his shoulders there. Got these cool looking pipes coming out of the back of him on his on his upper back there as well as on his back legs. He's a lovely figure. Points of articulation of course, which all DC Universe classics share the same points of articulation. Which is a hinge at the foot there, articulated knee, swivel in the upper leg like that, a side to side thigh, and a front to back thigh joint. Uh, let's see. Wrist articulation, uh, hinge articulation on the elbow, swivel on the upper arm. Side to side on the upper arm, and front to back on the upper arm, as you can see. One thing I sort of wish that Metallo had, since he's got, he's got pretty big hands, I wish that his fingers were individually articulated. That would have uh, been a nice plus. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think DC Universe Classics will ever have articulated fingers. Uh, back to a little of the detail on him. Take a close look there. He's got this nice, nice skull head. You can see that. Let's see. And uh, Metallo is, of course, a villain of Superman's. If you don't know much about Metallo, Metallo is actually powered by Kryptonite right there. And uh, he can just open up his chest and, uh, and uh, that'll help take down Superman. It's got that nice big M on his chest there for Metallo. <laughs> basically it on my review for for Metallo. Metallo I definitely give a give a 10 out of 10 on him. Um, for me he was actually pretty easy to get. But, uh, availability for a lot of people this way was was pretty difficult so when it comes to that though I'd probably give it a 6 for availability. In detail, I definitely give it a 10. 
Articulation, I definitely give it a 10. Quality is definitely a 10. Some DC Universe Classics figures, uh, the paint job slash quality on them aren't that well, but but most of the uh, build of figures are. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for my review on Metallo. I say if you're a big DC Universe collector fan, um, this is definitely the Metallo to get. There's also a DC Direct Metallo, but he's nowhere half as good as this one. Alright, thanks for watching.